hair. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, go. Shh. Get off. Sign says closed, God damn it. Back in. What are you doing here? I live here. I know, but I thought you said we we're going to take three months off until things cool down. I said two months, and it's been two months. Did you? I thought you said three months. So how you doing, baby? Did you miss me? Yeah, yeah, I did. Of course, it's just I thought, you know, with all that money, you'd be long gone. You know? The money's here, Ann. Where? Outside. It's been here the whole time, unless somebody took it. Have you been saving it for me? Oh, yeah. The money. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what would be a great idea? If uh, one of us went out and got it, because if it's just sitting out there unguarded, you know, it would be a shame to lose it after three months. Two months. Two months. I'd like to take a shower. Fantastic. That's a great idea. You get cleaned up, and I'll run out and get the money for us. That's a fabulous idea. Let me tell you where it is. You know that oil drum mm -hmm. that's in the alley on the other side of the building? The big skanky brown one? The very one. Yeah. The bottom of that oil drum is a paint can, a one-gallon paint can, and the money is in that paint can. Paint can! <laughs> Great. Hurry up before somebody sees you!
packed. That's a good sign. Just in case. How's it going? Good. So what do you think? Think of what? This. I think it's a grocery store, Frank. I know. It's ours. Huh. What did Chicago get in the grocery business? It's a long story. A guy named Hook Wright. Can you believe that? Hook Wright? He inherits his chain of grocery stores, 16 of them from his grandfather, some bullshit like that. Mr. Hook Wright is what you could call the fuck up with major appetites. He gets in deep, comes to us needing 140 large in a hurry, and by the fucking bing, we're in the grocery business. <laughs> it's a ball breaker business, Maggot. Grocery stores operate on a margin so small, you need a microscope and a CP fucking A to see it. This affordable food for the masses crap is bleeding us to death. I've grown to hate the American public. See? This is what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Stop stealing those goddamn peanuts! He drops them back in the bin after he's had his grubby old man hands all over them. It's all sanitary. So what do you need? This guy in Detroit has a line on a printing plant. Food stamps. He says like a quarter of a mil worth. I never did food stamps before, Frank. The reason you don't hear about this kind of score going down every day is that you can only sell food stamps for 50% face on the street, and that's way too much exposure. Only grocery stores can turn them into money. I need some time to check it out, get my guys together, go out there. That's the bad part. It has to go down this weekend. It's Labor Day. The plant will be closed for three days. The stamps are on site. Tuesday morning, they'll be moved to a state warehouse. I don't like running into these things half-assed, Frank. Help me out on this one, Mac and I. Well, you know the way I like to work. I like to have some control over the situation. It's a printing plant, for Christ's sake. A Cub Scout then can take it down. They need you because the stamps in the storage building with reinforced walls and a steel door, and you need a burning bar to pop it. The guy doesn't have anyone who can run a burning bar. How's the money working? You fly to Detroit today, take a look at the plant, bust it over the weekend, and fly home. 20 grand cash, on the spot, pure fluff, found money. Okay. I'll go, I'll check it out, but if I don't like it, I'm gone. Thanks, Mac. Your plane leaves in an hour. He just shook a bed. Don't pay him no mind. So how'd he go? Went fine. Birch is in the van. Van is in the garage. Garage is locked. And I sent Danny and little Benny home. Now, Danny thought that I was supposed to pay them, but I told him that you would take care of it. 
today. Damn, man. Danny got attitude. You get ill with you? I don't know what that means, but judging from the context, no. You, uh, owe me some money. It's all good. When he got you coming. Causing a lot. Red Toyota. He's under the mat. It's been fun. I'm out of here. I'll leave the car in the long-term parking at the airport. You gonna eat them hands, Brian? Here, you can take your fuck back. down in the street. Your arms wide. Move. Put those hands and you're dead. Eat some street, asshole! Ah. Now! <laughs> Cuff you? Don't make this hard. Take it easy, pal. We know the drill. About, officer? First of all, you're uh, driving a stolen car, Mr. Moffitt. And you're carrying a large amount of cash. You are one suspicious character, Mr. Moffat. I'm sure this isn't going to check out to be top about it. Now this, this is not good at all. Tipped you. <laughs> so when are you gonna kill me? A couple of minutes. Please don't rush us. Shit, man, you made me lose count. See what you did?
Thank you, sir. Some coffee, please. Your dispatch had no radio transmissions. They were both scheduled off yesterday and today. All right, could you get me a flatbed? This little car is going to the lab. Where's the coffee? Hold up. You got rid of the Beamer, man. They had everything, man. Tinted windows, Nietzsche Bond rims, triple thick paint job, fire engine red, man. Shoot, I just get teary eyed just thinking about this shit. Look, man, I ain't with that ghetto shit no more. I'm on a smooth renaissance tip. For the Volvo? What kind of black man drives a Volvo? A black man that appreciates safety? Shoot, this bad boy got side airbags, kid. I get in an accident, it's all good. Straighter than straight. Your burger's ready, baby. <laughs> uh, we got any Dijon, ma? Dijon? We got yellow mustard, baby. You're gonna have to suffer with the rest of us common folk. Dang, man, what you doing here, man? You interrupted my special family time and shit. Trouble. The thief killed the cops. God damn! Sorry, mama. Damn, man. I know your ass must be in hot water if you're taking the bus. Yeah. So, how hot are you? I'm all right now. Bo said you ran into some trouble. I had to kill two cops. Well, it looked like the cops ran into the trouble. So what do you got? They were both dirty. We've been investigating them for three months along with some others. Cheap jack stuff, mostly. We're gonna put it in front of the grand jury next month. So, what do you guys got? Checking out some leads. Maybe a witness seeing a car leave the scene. Nothing promising. We got cops. We got a big one, Louise. When are you on? 15 minutes. Print people have a deadline. All right, I'm gonna get some more coffee. You want some? God, no, I get my coffee on the outside. You guys, an internal affairs highfalutin bunch. You betcha. Yeah, he hates him. He bit me. Well, I'm gonna take my boy home. Brush his teeth. I bet you didn't brush his teeth all weekend. <laughs> right. I didn't brush my teeth all weekend. Hey. I thought you liked this guy. This is poultry flavor. 
And the Italian sure as shit don't want them now. Shit. Player on ball seven. 250 in stamps, gone. Fuck it. Lose them, thing. If I catch that fucking thief, I'm gonna shoot him up 250,000 goddamn times. Player on ball eight. I don't get why you did it, Pony. Did what? Try to shake down a thief. He goes home pissed off, calls Riles. We got the fucking Italians all over our ass. I don't see no percentage for us. He wasn't supposed to go home, Dink. Plus, I figure it's a good way to pay off the cops without it coming out of my goddamn pocket. 20 grand, though? Don't seem like much for all the bullshit we got to deal with now. Thank you for the 2020 hindsight, kid. Check it. Two cops with guns. Should have been able to take out one goddamn thief. Fools went to the police academy and shit. They shouldn't know how to operate a goddamn firearm. Should have had some logic to this shit, Dink. Stop second guessing my ass. Would the cops be crying over Kendall and McNamara? We probably ought to get out of town for a while, let that shit die down. Plus, I need to make arrangements with our Italians on this. Game over. It's gonna cost us. Set it up. I'll take Cassandra to Miami a week or two. You be all right? Yeah, I'll handle it. Was well, there something else you can give him? There must be something you can do. I can give him painkillers, but uh, I can't keep giving them to him forever. I think it might be time to think about what we talked about earlier. Well, I'm not ready yet. I know. But it's him you have to think about, and I'm afraid it's not going to get any easier. I'm not going to let him suffer. I just need to work this whole thing out. Yeah, I understand. You got a phone around here I could use? Sure, it's right behind you. Local? Yeah. Come, on, take your time. Riles. Mackin. I had no idea. I thought Williams was a straight up guy. You want, I'll drop a dime and he'll be dead tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll take care of him, Frank. This is something I'd like to deal with personally. Yeah, how? I'm gonna go back and see Pointy, try to work this thing out. I will need some information. If you could help me with that, I'd appreciate it. Whatever you need, let me know. Good. So just lay low, right? Wait for this cop thing to cool out. Okay. All right. This is a pain in my narrow black ass. Pointy be on the beach, too. Chilling with that fine ass bitch. Shit, man, I think she got some Indian in her. Like Cherokee or some Sasquatch or some shit like that. I want to you downtown, Reese. Where you warrant at? Behind that preposition. What? Learn some grammar. You can't end a sentence with a preposition. 
Oh. Then, uh, where you warrant that motherfucker? Let me get out of this car. Because I will get out of this car. Take my stick and wear your ass out. It's no problem, officer. No problem. I'm not saying a word till my lawyer gets here. He's on his way. <sighs> we got a little problem here, Dink. We know Kendall and McNamara were working for you. Now they're dead. We thought maybe you could help us out. Hello, Louise. Hi, Ralph. Detective Tinesco. What seems to be the problem here? Well, your client had a relationship with the two detectives killed this weekend. They're hoping he can help us out. I see. We just want to talk, Ralph. Well, my client assures me that he has absolutely no knowledge about the death of the two detectives. In the absence of any charges, we'll be leaving. Thanks for your help, Ralph. No problem, always. See you, Dink. you hire somebody to help you sell you'll hurt your back i'm not gonna hire somebody to help me hook up a vcr honey anybody should be able to do this well let frank help you yeah let me help you sir hey let me see that uh, uh the uh that goes into the left channel and i don't know this is all for the surround sound mm -hmm. uh, that one goes for the antenna There's a problem, Sal. Well, yeah. need the owner's manual? No. The food stamp score. Apparently, Williams tried to rip off the thief and it all went to hell. And now Williams and the thief are blaming each other. Williams is greedy, Francis. Greedy people make mistakes. Right. Yeah, yeah, hold, hold, it, hold it there. Here, huh? Here's a video of our little Sal practicing his, uh, his t-ball game. I'm gonna have that in stereo now. All right, here's what you do. You give the thief what he wants. We owe him that because he has been our friend. <laughs> then you call yeah, Mr. Pointy Williams and you ask him to make a gesture to us because of the stamps. Not the whole thing, of course. Just a token for our pride. <laughs> Finish up, Ray. We're through. Here. It's my favorite part. Oh. <laughs> Hit him right in the balls. <laughs> hey, Ray, come here. Take a look at this. How do you put that on hold? <laughs> oh! That's very funny. So this is it. The absolute best we have available. Brochure says there's a babbling brook. I don't hear any uh, babbling. It hasn't rained in a while. After a rain, it babbles. Is it quiet here? The highway's far enough away, so you can't even hear it. As you can see, it's, it's beautiful here. We like to think of ourselves as the absolute best pet cemetery in the Midwest. And we'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best human cemeteries in terms of location. Maybe this is the place. See? I think that was a yes. I think that was a bark. I'm not so far gone. I think my dog speaks English. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. If I had known I'd spend my whole trip in Miami on a golf course, I would have kept my ass at home. Calm down. Mr. Williams! Food's ready anyway. 
Buenos dias. Here it is, fresh from our restaurant. Would you like to charge this to your room? Yes, yes. It smells good. Mm. I own a French restaurant, you know. Best French restaurant in Motown, straight up. Well, I can tell from your choice of dishes, sir, that you have very fine taste. Well, my good man, if you are ever in Detroit, come by Fine Tain. Acts for pointing. Thank you, sir. Lord, please bless this food. We thank you for the nourishment of our... What the fuck are you doing? I... You want to snort that shit while I'm saying my praises to the Lord? You want us both to go straight to hell? For what? What commandments am I violating, Pointy? I'll tell you what commandment. Thou shalt stop acting like a blaspheming bitch. God damn, no home training. Shit. Take the bitch out to ghetto, but you just can't take the bitch out to ghetto. Yo, what's up, Dank? It's me. You call hot sauce? Yeah, I know I'm supposed to lay low, but look, I've been working on this deal for six months, and the deal's got to go down now. Yo, this is some high-grade Peruvian shit, man. Wholesale prices, baby. Samples alone been wearing me and Cassandra out. You just, yo, just handle it. Well, I got to do everything? Cash is in the safe. You are so country. Man, this shit is ridiculous. Nigga offers to sell you four kilos for the price of three is probably not a good nigga. Who we mean with again? Some silly motherfucker named Hot Sauce. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I mean, how are you gonna do serious business with some project nigga call himself Hot Sauce? Sugar bear. <sighs> Danny, get out and go around the back. Where's the cash? <laughs> you ain't crazy enough to think you can fuck with Pointy Williams and survive, are you? Just give us the shit, we'll give you the cash. Where's Pointy? Where the fuck is Pointy? Pointy Williams don't handle penny any bullshit like this himself. Right now, he's back at the office trying to figure out how many pieces to leave your mama in if you try to fuck with him on this. So, where's the coke? Coke's in your fucking mind, bitch. Question is, where's the cash? Be careful with that. A lot of guns in this room. Sauce, look out behind you! What's the problem, boy? Look at that. Look at that. Yo, man, some bitch popped the cap next to my motherfucking ear, man. Shit, I can't hear shit, man. Motherfucker, what's your problem, boy? Uh, sorry, I took so long. I think I stepped on a hypodermic needle no, no, or something, no, man. No, man, you did great. They were gonna do a sure shit. You did great, man. Motherfucker! Look at you now, boy. Look at you now! Look at you, motherfucker! Pump! Am I bleeding? I don't know, man. Bleed? I don't know. You're covered in this shit, but I think most of it's his, man. I mean, your head ain't bleeding. Okay, okay, we, okay, we gotta move fast. Okay, Danny, go start the car. Put the shotgun in your jacket, man. Come on. Come on, Sugar, you hear me? Sugar, you hear me? No, man, I hear you. It's just one side, man. OK, we well, get the wallets, the guns, whatever. Come on, let's get out of here. Stop fucking around. Let's get out of here. Look at you now, punk. I don't suppose there's anything I can say to convince you to let this thing lie for a while, is there? Oh. I'm going tomorrow. You don't want to come. Don't come. No, 
I'll go, but, you know, and I'll call Rodney, he'll probably go, but nobody's gonna tell you it's the most professional thing you've ever done. Hey. We go tomorrow. I got no trouble believing that, let me tell you, Frank. Hey, the man was lucky he got clear. Fucking Spade will kill you as soon as look at you. Believe me. Uh-huh. Absolutely, Frank. You give my respects to Sal. Tell him the stuff he sent me for the roses works great. Ellen is thrilled. Okay, you too, Frank. That was Frank. Yeah, I heard. So what's he need from us? Frank wants us to put together everything we can find on Williams's operation. Find out where he keeps the cars before he ships them to New York. The warehouse on the highway frontage road. He leases it from us? Well, hell, I knew that. You put together a list of that shit and get it to Frank tomorrow morning, okay? I got a feeling that by this time next week, Mr. Pointy Williams is gonna have a full-time job covering his own ass. <laughs> I declare. <laughs> so that's the deal. The bottom line is there's money up there, and I'm going to go and get me some. Are you in or are you out? <laughs> I'm in. What about you? You in or out? I'm in like Flynn. I got this addiction to money I just can't seem to shake. I declare. Oh. <laughs> you suck, man. man. <laughs> so what? Beat me at this little car game. Congratulations. Let's see you beat me in a real sport. What, what I want to know is, is there a problem here? Bo bragging that he can beat me in this car game? That shit's 100% luck. No. I'm talking about Pointy being black. So what? If I come to you because the guy is fucking with me is white, am I going to ask you the same thing? Pointy Williams ain't never did shit for me. Fuck him. Fuck you, too. We partners of what? Yeah. 100%. You still suck at war, man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for me, Lou? A witness identified a red Toyota leaving the scene. We found an abandoned car downtown that matched the description. Bloody clothes in the trunk. Any prints? Not on the car. Mm. No prints on the casings, not even smears. Guy wipes the shells before he fills his magazine. He's a pro. We did find a thumbprint on a cassette in the tape deck. Had SID run a trace through the NCIC, but the database is down, so it may take a while. Anything else? Yeah, that tape. It's a jazzy, scatty kind of thing. Yeah, what about it? It's good. I wouldn't worry about that one. I mean, it's in between tracks. Well, it's the really little ones that get under my skin for some reason. I don't know. I'll give you 10% off. For having the eagle eye, that's the best I can do. Fine. If you think you can find Astrid Gilberto and Walter Wanderley on album together in better condition than this, go for it. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Hello? Hey, hey. Right up the road. A place called the Circle 7 Motel, room 116. Uh, you want to hook up tonight? Nah. I'll meet you guys for breakfast over there, say, 9 o'clock? Cool. We're tired. Whoa, 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 whoa. We? I brought the dog. I'll see you tomorrow. He brought the dog. Yo, Dave. There's a dude with a gun in the alley. Who is he? Um, could be working for a thief. Uh, could be part of that crew we danced with at the towers. I'm so tired of the drama. Unlock the hallway door. When he comes through, you put his ass to sleep. Pointy want to talk to him. Yeah, when's Pointy coming back? Plane gets here tomorrow morning. That's yeah, good. Won't be so many people. Driving around the airport's a bitch. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you got a perfect explanation for bringing your dog on this joyride, Megan. Yes, I do. He's on his last legs. I got to put him to sleep next week. Meg, I want to spend some quality time with the dog. <laughs> man, we can't have your mind on it, dog. Right, we, we, we got some serious business to do here, it's man. Not, it's not quality time anyway, man. I mean, look, the fucking dog is sitting there eating, eating scrambled dog. eggs. That's that man's dog. If he says quality time, then it's quality. Hey. You ain't never had a fucking dog in your I've had fucking, a fucking life. I've had a dog. I've had a dog, and I, and I don't take my fucking dog to a hotel room. But gentlemen. To, you know. Gentlemen. Let's get back to business, shall we? I want to do the black hole tonight. All right. I'll check it out this afternoon. Yo, man. Point is in. He's acting kind of weird. What's he doing? Man, this nigga got like five little pieces of cloth on his desk, just staring at them shits. What you doing, man? Checking out these swatches. What? Swatches, man. Sample pieces of cloth so you can figure out what fabric to cover your furniture. Thinking of doing that sofa over there in a straw-colored ragoon. So what's going on around here? Well, let's see. Um, as you know, we almost got our heads blown off at the Walnut Towers. Uh, the thief is supposed to be on his way back here, and, uh, huh. Oh, yeah, some nigga i never seen before climbed the fire escape with a piece, so we had to knock his ass out. What? Yeah, he's waiting for you in the storage closet. Welcome home.
Let's go see the nigga in the closet. That's Malcolm Steele, nigga that set up the deal at the towers, man. I thought y'all killed him. Killed everyone there. He went there. Let me talk to this motherfucker. Oh, fuck you, Barney. You don't fuck with the wrong motherfucker. I'm from Gary, bitch. We don't fuck. <laughs> You from Gary, huh? Well, let me tell you where I'm from. Little place called Fresh Off a Nigga's Ass. And you just made me homesick. <sighs> Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm. You stupid motherfucker, you. Wasn't bad enough that you sent all your people to get killed. Now you got to come down here and die your damn self. Oh, shit. Tell me, man. Who was it that we killed at Towers? So important that you had to come down here. My brother. Well, your brother fucked up, kid. Now the nigga's dead. So why don't you just enjoy your last few moments here, marinating in your own juices? Or me and my people figure out, you know, what to do with your corpse. After that, I'll come back and kill you personally, all right? <laughs> Night, John boy. Don't open it here, Nick. I photocopy parts of seven different files. Everything in that folder has been cleared for your use. Background only by the chief. This conversation is also background only. Deep background. No direct quotes. Attribution at departmental sources. Close the investigation. Whatever you guys write. Photographs you can print once you run the story. What is a story? Oh, maybe run the whole thing down for you, Nick. Trust me, it's unpleasant enough to make you very happy. Hmm, lovely. How long do I have to wait? A week would be beautiful. We have an officer undercover. Mm -mm. No, I can't wait a week. You know, Martians could land on the White House lawn in a week, and I'd still be sitting on yesterday's news. Would you cut me some slack? I'm being good to you. Oh, like I haven't been good to you, Louise? Come on, what about the pawn shop thing? You know, I'm not trying to keep score around here, but if, uh... If we're gonna talk about tips, I think that I've got a few coming to me. I'm aware of that. Why do you think I'm here? I just need a week, Nick. All right. Pleasure doing business with you, my friend. Uh-huh. You know, every time we get together, it's always business. It wouldn't hurt you to have me over to your house for dinner sometime. Yeah, it would. But I'm telling you though, Claude, man. <laughs> When I was down in South Beach, that Lyonnais calf sweet bread was très, très good. Wouldn't be so bad if we had something like that here. So, I'm supposed to follow the Cubans? They're experts in French food now? Hey, 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 man. I'm not saying all that. I'm just, look, man. I'm not trying to mess with your culinary artistry, man. I'm just throwing out suggestions and whatnot. Come on, man, you my man. Best chef in Motown, no doubt. All right, Peter. Come on, Claude, man, just don't get so upset, man. I need you here, man. Man, if another restaurant came out and tried to steal you away from me, I don't know what I would do, man. I'd probably kill you, I'd be so jealous. Oh, man, Claude, <laughs> come on, man, now, I'm only, I'm only kidding, man. Claude, man, come here, come here, come here, man. You my man, all right? You cool? <laughs> hey, now, but you know, don't leave me. All right, man, I'll check you later, all right? Miss me as much as I missed you. Mr. Williams. How was Florida? Mm. It's pretty good. 
It'd been better if you would have come along. You kind of here uh, a little early. It's checking schedule. So, uh, you coming by this evening? Mm -hmm. Nah, baby. I can't. I got business. But I'll see you a little later. I know. Sugar, please shut the fuck up. So we even now, huh? Think about that. You tell Pointy Williams I said, hey, we have people outside. If you try to leave, we will kill you. Thank you for your time. The bill is fucked up. Fucking mind. What'd you have to kill poor bastard for? We didn't kill anybody. Hey, Bo, the guy's not dead. Take it easy. Go ahead and show him. It's a handbook, so what? I don't get it. Convincers, man. Less than half the normal powder charge, right? No shot. No shot? Something hit that poor son of a bitch. Rock salt. Staying like a motherfucker. But it ain't gonna kill nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling me. By the way, How'd we do? There's a lot of cash in here. There's mostly it's 20s. I don't know, there's maybe 20, there's maybe 25 grand in here. Can you move your seat forward? Mackin. So how far is this gonna go, Mackin? He tried to kill me, Frank. I know. Look, um, Sal's been asking questions about this. I'd like to get this whole thing wrapped up. 
I've got no wish to mess up anything for you guys. This is between me and Pointy Williams, no one else. I understand that. But if you can be nice and snappy with this whole revenge bit, it'll really help us out. All right, Frank. All right, bye. Good news, Louise? Found a thumbprint matching our cassette. A latent left at the scene of a bank robbery in Atlanta four years ago. An insurance investigator who worked the case is faxing me a police sketch based on a guard's ID from the Atlanta robbery. We'll see how it matches up with her police sketch from the black hole. Yep, I think that's our guy. Hey. So? What about my kilo? I mean, I'm ready to go. Game, baby. Nobody's getting anything but the major street players. Maybe next month. Best to be cool till then. Yeah, well, the thief is cutting into my shit now. Hey, I'm all about getting paid, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Coffee black. That's what I'm holding. Okay. Keep the right here. Thank you very much. I want this thing to be over with the thief. What do you have, Ricky? Circle 7, room 116, Garden City. Ain't gonna be there much longer. Give me a call tomorrow. You can pick up the kilo then. All right, Dink. Now that's what I pay your black ass for. Ha <laughs> ha! Listen up, kid. I got something for you. It is a damn shame to see such fine automobiles like these destroyed. Damn. Not when those automobiles belong to Pointy Williams. Sad. Look here. You take your mother two fools. I got the thief. Hey, Rodney. See if those windows open up. It's getting kind of thick in here. All right. Company. Ah, oh, shit. Nice to see you again, Betty. All right, let's hit it. Hey, next time you see Mr. Pointy Williams, you tell him now it's over. Yo, man, sounds like he's in there. All right, look here. We ain't gonna fuck around with knocking on the damn door. Let's hope this dude can do up the black hole. And the best way to deal with his ass is to knock down the door and light his ass up. I think we hit somebody. Check it out. I'm checking the toilet. Oh, damn, man. Oh. Clear. Yo, we killed this dog, man. That's some seriously fucked up shit. What's your fucking problem, man? Yo, dude, I had a dog when I was a kid. Look just like that one, man. I'm feeling all bad and shit. Bet this will get that thief's attention. Yo, we already had his attention, man. Come on, let's go. Done anything like that a long time. Yeah, well, you need to be thinking about getting out of Detroit. 
You down, Mackin? We're done here. What? Yo, man. A cop is here. She ain't got no warrant, though. Want me to send her ass up? Yeah. Mr. Williams? Detective Patron? I'm glad you're here. Hope you... Got some leads on those gentlemen who robbed my club. Oh, no, I'm not here for that. I'm working the Kendall McNamara case. Didn't you already go through this dog and puppet show with my man, Dink? Well, actually, I thought you might want to see something interesting on TV. Should be on right about now, Channel 18. I'm sorry, did you say something? I saw your lips move, but I didn't hear anything. <clears throat> well, then I'll speak clearly so you can understand me. Fuck you. Whatever that shit was has nothing to do with me. All right, Pointy, let's stop bullshitting, okay? I know it's the thief. I know he's the guy that took down the black hole. I know you set him up with the cops. I strongly suspect he just burned down that warehouse, which if the trail is right, it's full of cars you stole. Well, if you know so damn much, then arrest me then. Let me explain something, Pointy. I don't give a shit about you. I don't care whether you go to jail, whether you stay free, whether you live, whether you die. You're some other cop's problem. I'm working the Kendall McNamara case. I want the thief. What do you want from me? Information. I'm assuming you don't want to incriminate yourself in anything, so take a couple days. Think about how you would carefully word what you say to me. And I'll be visiting you soon. There ain't nothing to get out of me. I'm just a humble restaurant owner. All right. Bye, Mr. Williams. Hey, Mac, it was cool, little dog. Sorry, man. Look, I'm not going to explain to you the scope of my relationship with the dog, because if I do, the words are going to sound fucking stupid coming out of my mouth. Shit! Okay, man, we understand. <laughs> I mean, but now is the time for thinking. And we need to be thinking about getting the hell out of here before things get worse. Oh, 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 oh. Things are gonna get a lot worse for a certain dog killer. Back and you were gonna put him to sleep anyway. It was a dog. Okay, we don't want to die over a dog, for Christ's sakes. Well, we're not gonna be the ones doing the dying. Williams, people sent 10,000 cash for the printing plant thing. It's not much, but it's a gesture. The possibility that the violence is linked to the Chicago mob. Said to be headed for more than a decade by Sal Capetti was labeled sheer speculation by the Chicago FBI office, as were reports that the investigation would act as a catalyst to revive the Midwest organized crime strike force. 
currently slated to be disbanded next month. Must end now, Francis. Ten years I've taken care of our business. Never once have those parasites of the Justice Department come close to me. To us. Now, in a week, everything goes to hell. I see my name back in the newspaper connected with a food stamp list. Food stamps, oh Christ's sake. I'm back it off, Marie. Skinny enough as it is. What's our exposure? On paper, nothing. The feds can subpoena the whole world. All they'll find is that Hookwright sold 51% of Consolidated to a real estate investment company for $140,000. That's what all the papers say. And the rest of the real estate people are clean, so there's nothing written down that indicates who really controls the company. But this Mr. Hookwright knows, is that not right? Sort of, I guess. Hookwright was so coked up, who knows what he remembers, but yeah, he knows he did the deal with me personally, even if he doesn't really know how much control he gave up, and that's not good. Seven, eight years ago, all my people wanted to be John Gotti. Except you, of course, Francis. You've always understood that the young men, they all wanted to work for a Teflon Don because they all wanted to be Teflon Dons. Where's Gotti now? Who's taking care of Gotti's people now? I don't want to be brought down like that, Francis. Tell you this formally. Must end. The thief must go home. No more newspaper stories. Oh, Capito. I'll take care of it. Would you some party? Yeah. Like this one. Maybe the thief left town. Ricky don't know where he is. Well, if at first you don't succeed, get out the motherfucking kitchen. Just tell Ricky to try harder. Promise him something. Shit, nigga, do I have to do all the thinking around here? Okay, I get it. I'm here to see the owner. Mr. Williams, I need to talk to you. It's cool. You wait here 10 minutes, no more. If I'm not out in 10 minutes, you go home. This is fucked, Mackie. You don't even know if he's in there. If he's in there, we need to wait for him to come out, do him outside. Bam! I mean, you ain't thinking here, dude. I'm tired of fucking around with this guy. He's in there, I can smell him. If I go in there, I kill him, I come out, we go home. All right, Pliny. A report on my desk this morning said a motel room got machine gunned in Garden City last night. A dog got gunned down. One of yours? I don't know shit about no dog, all right? I don't know shit about no fire. I don't know shit about no cars. I don't know shit about birth and no babies. I don't know shit about shit. Uh-oh. What's up? They just walked in. Motherfucker! Free sugar bear!
clear, Sergeant. Clear. Right. Officer Hassan, Ventaya restaurant downtown. We need backup and paramedics now. Let's talk to Riles. He wants to sit down today. Some place called Momo Amusement on the west side. He says Williams will be there. No guns. Give me the address, I'll take a cab. You guys should go home. No, fuck that. Look, at Riles said you could bring one guy to the meet. He figures it'll be Rodney, because he knows I like to be the outside guy. That probably means he's not going to kill me right away. I'll go alone. The fuck you will, man. I got a scope 227 hair in the trunk. It'll take the nuts off a polar bear at 300 meters. And anybody messes with you, they'll be dead before they hear the shot. Let's do the sit down, make this right, then go home. How about it, Rodney? Going this far. I understand. Right. No, I'm taking care of everything. Yeah. Tenth floor penthouse. I'll wait here. Yeah. Wayne Hook, right? Yeah, that's me. Who is it? Out of all the times I ever had to draw my weapon, this is the first time I ever fired it off the range. No shit. You hit a clock. The Sam was solid, right? Are you kidding? Two shots and an arm target, both inside the kill ring? You could cover the entrance with a coaster. I'll take that any day. She's gonna fly right through that hearing. Don't worry about her. Good. Don't forget these. The paperwork I gotta do. Jesus, no wonder I never shoot my gun. Hey, 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 leave that rifle in the case, my friend. The cop comes by, you tell him you're hunting on your way to Arkansas. Mackin, if something goes down, it's gonna take me forever to get a shot off. Nothing's gonna go down, Bo. Riles knows that you're out there somewhere watching. The last thing he wants right now is you following him all the way back to Chicago. Let's go. Keys. Well said, Mr. Riles. I know about your side bet with Dink Rees, Ricky. I don't really have a problem with that. I mean, Machi, he's a great old guy, but... Maybe not the best guy to work for if you want to make a little money, am I right? I, I haven't done nothing to screw you over, Mr. Riles. I, I ain't stolen nothing, honest to God. I right, take it easy, Ricky, I believe you. I mean, hell. If I didn't believe that, Ray would have put a cap on you when you walked in here. What I don't know is whether or not you were the guy that gave Williams the Circle 7 Motel. I mean, the only place in town with the thief's number was right here. And I'm pretty sure Joe didn't give it up. So I gotta admit, I wondered if maybe, uh... Look, Mr. Riles, maybe I did some business with Dink on some stuff, but that's all. I don't want to know if you gave Williams the motel. See, if you give up the motel, I'd probably have to whack you. Instead, what I'm gonna do is let bygones be bygones. That's the whole problem here. No one wants to let go of the past. Well, I'm letting go of the past, Ricky. Because guys like you and me, we have to worry about the future. Am I right? Yes, sir. That's the thief and his man. Let him in. Add him down.
Point will be in a minute. It's just getting a haircut. You about 200 pounds of bad news, huh? If it makes any difference, you're way ahead on this whole thing. The warehouse hit. Hurt us bad. Oh, I figured I was way ahead on this thing when I got out of that cop car without a bullet in my head. Now, let's wait for plenty. We'll get it worked out. Is he clean? He's clean. And now, Ray's gonna make sure you're clean. You're gonna sit down. And we're gonna work this out. God damn, man, you hit a nut. Let's get this shit started. Now I lost a buku of money because of this fool. And for those of y'all who don't know, that's French for a whole motherfucking lot. Now what I want to know is how the Italians gonna make all this shit right. That's why we're here, isn't it? To make it right. That's what I've been trying to do. No. What you've been doing is making a lot of noise. We didn't give a shit what you did as long as you did it quickly and professionally. Kill them, rob them, do whatever you're gonna do, then get the fuck out. Instead, you set the whole goddamn town on fire. And you? You set up my man here, try to get him killed for what? For $20,000? We're trying to set up major business in this town, and you're nickel and diamond it away. Who are you thinking of? So, everybody's fucked up but the Italians. Don't nobody got this shit together but the hoods in Chicago. All right. We're having a conversation here. So what's it gonna take to make everything right with you? Shit, you got a calculator? A calculator? No. Anybody here got a calculator? Yeah. How about this? See, there's a better way to handle our business. So you're giving me lessons now, right? All right. Now I'm gonna hand you over this figure. And I want you to show me how you Italians make things right and handle your business. Keep it. It's a really good pen. Huh. So? So nothing. It's over. Who's running things in the brickyard now? Don't care. I just know who's not running things in the brickyard now. I'm gone. The man from Chicago says, it's over. That good for you?
Ray, go get the car, please. Ricky, for now I want you to wait outside. When we're done here, clean us up. Can I have a minute, Megan? I'll be outside. I'm really sorry about your dog. Wally, right? Yeah. Why don't you leave him in a kennel or something? I don't know. What's wrong? Are you all right? You got what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to do it myself. I mean, you killed the guy. All of a sudden, like that, it's not. It's not what? Fulfilling. Let me think of a sport or something, you know? I'm going to the softball league. Our team meets every third Sunday. Come out. We lost our second baseman. He got busted. He's doing three to five. What do you say? I never played softball before. That's well, okay. We start you in the outfield. Yo, D. That fire escape dude is uh, still in the storage closet. I think we better order, you know, we kill him. Give him some crackers or something. Where's Pointy? Pointy dead. She. You serious? Bring fire escape in here. Keep his arms tied. Take off his gag. What up? Damn, your lips are cracked like a motherfucker. Mm. Danny, get this nigga some chapstick. Pony Williams killed your brother. And today, somebody killed Pony Williams. Now, I'm not gonna apologize for your brother being dead because your brother fucked up. But I need to know where we stand. Look here, my beef with Pony Williams. That nigga dead, I'm beefless. It's a ballsy play, kid. Climbing up the fire escape. You straighten up, fly right. Maybe we'll find a place for you. You looking for work? I don't know. You got benefits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to live. <laughs> ah, ah.
Sarah, this comes from your restaurant? Yeah. I call it Orgy of Lentils. All organic, mostly vegan. It's pretty tasty, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's open that for seconds. Mm. He's just buttering you up, Sarah. After this, he's going to have a black horn for a steak. Oh, well, I hope it's a really bloody one. You know, they really should just kill the cow at your table so you can enjoy the agony. You know, like they do with lobsters. I get this every night, Nick. Well, it's delicious, Sarah, and worth the wait. You know how long it took to get an invite over here? Well, Louise likes to keep me completely in the dark about everything she's doing, so Nick, I can only imagine. Mm. How about some of that artichoke pie? Certainly. Mm. I'll even give you the recipe. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Really enjoying that, huh, Nick? Mm. Mm. Thank you. 